Sometimes there's just too much going on, none of it is going right, and it just leaves us feeling frazzled and frustrated. Hi, I'm Marissa from beautifullyorganized.com. Between work stuff, family stuff, home stuff, and social stuff, there's a lot that can pile onto our shoulders, and as the mum, we're the ones expected to not only keep it all running smoothly, but do it calmly and without complaining. When we're feeling stressed and overwhelmed, we usually try to reduce the workload by writing a big to-do list or delegating some jobs to your partner and your kids. But honestly, that rarely helps much. We end up having to micromanage everyone else to make sure that the jobs get done and get done properly or we'll be redoing them ourselves later. Or we finish writing the to-do list and then we feel even more overwhelmed when we look at it. Let's try a different approach and come at it from an angle of wanting to feel better, not needing to get everything done. There will always be more to do, so let's prioritize taking care of ourselves first. Everyone else in the family will take their cue from our lead, so the more happy and relaxed we are, the more happy and relaxed everyone else will be too. So with that in mind, here are my favorite ways to reduce stress and overwhelm in my day-to-day -day life, and hopefully one of those will be helpful to you too. The first focus is to slow down and do less. Whatever you are doing, do it slower. You will feel better almost instantly. Even if you're stressed, driving, cooking, cleaning, working, hanging, folding, ironing, if we do that anymore, walking, just slow down. Brain dump everything you have on your mind and then cross out the stuff that is not world ending if it doesn't happen. Then just put the three most important things left on your to-do list and don't come back to that brain dump until those three are done and you've had time to relax afterward. Remind yourself that the goal for today doesn't have to be to get as much done as possible, especially if you're not getting paid for it and if no one else is even going to notice that you did it. The second focus is to pay attention to how you feel. Go outside for a walk or even just go sit outside for a few minutes. Lay down and look at the clouds like you did when you were a kid. It's just as lovely and relaxing now as it was then. Take a nap if you need to. You'll feel like your whole day has reset and you have a clean slate again. Eat or drink something. You might have been rushed and distracted and missed a meal. You'll feel better when you're not hungry or thirsty. Write a list of things that make you feel good. Choose one and do it whenever you want to feel happier and less stressed. Listen to a guided meditation. There are plenty of great ones on YouTube and I also love the 10 minute ones at themindfulnessclinic.com.au. Take a warm shower. It doesn't matter what time of day it is, a warm shower will help you relax and give you a break from whatever's making you feel overwhelmed. The third focus is to lower the bar for yourself. Serve simple food. A plate of crackers with sliced cheese, tomato, cucumber, a few olives or nuts, that's fine. A couple of simple sandwiches is fine. Vegetable soup and bread is fine. Cheese on toast is fine. A ham and salad wrap is fine. Don't cook if it stresses you out. Assemble your meals instead. If you do enjoy cooking but you're too tired to do it at the end of the day, cook earlier. Use your slow cooker or if you're home during the day, cook in the morning or early afternoon or whenever it suits you and reheat later for dinner. Turn off the notifications on your email, text and social media DMs. You don't need to be on call 24-7. You're certainly not getting paid to be. Check emails and messages a couple of times a day. If anything is really urgent, they will call. Allow for 15 to 30 minutes buffer time for anything you are doing outside of the home. You need time to get yourself, your stuff and your kids into the car. You want to drive without rushing and you want to have plenty of time to find a car park and then walk from the car park to your destination. Buffer time makes the whole process so much calmer. Set alarms or Google Home reminders for the things that you hate nagging people to do but that don't get done without the reminder. You can tell Google to let the kids know when it's time to put their devices away and have their evening shower. You can set an alarm for five minutes before your kids need to leave for school. When it dings, that's when they leave. The tech can nag for you and then you can focus on you. 
I hope you found some of these ideas helpful. Let me know if you try any of them and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. I don't know what this is, but I think I'm just getting old. The neighborhood dogs are barking again. <gasps> Pay attention. Oh, hi, I just wanted to let you know before you watch the next video, we have some really good resources that are totally free and we run regular workshops online so you can join me live if you want to. Check out the links below and hopefully I'll see you there soon.